Uh, hi everyone, my name is Wei Liu. I come from Southeast University in China. And now I'm working with Dan and Rick in UC Berkeley on panel safety project. Uh, white rabbit is one part of the panel safety project. So my, uh, there is four parts of my presentation. First, I will tell you what is white rabbit and why we choose white rabbit. Uh, then I will tell you how does white rabbit work Next, I will show you some commercial white rapid products. Uh, at last, uh, I will tell you something about the white rapid on panel set project. Uh, before we uh, talk about white rapid, uh, I want to talk about something about the Casper instrument. Uh, as we know, this, this is uh, Roach 2. Uh, Casper has uh, a lot of uh, digital instruments like Roach 2, such as Roach 1, uh, snap one, snap two, and so on. And uh, if we want to ma uh, make all of these uh, digital instruments uh, work, we need two important signals. They are PPS and the 10, 10 MHz. Uh, these signals comes from uh, atomic clock or GPS receiver. We need to use coaxial lines to connect it to the board. <coughs> uh, but if we have more than one uh, digital instruments uh, such such like this. There are uh, seven Roach two seven Roach two uh, platforms. So we need we need the distribution box uh, like this. This is one PBS distribution box. It's a 15-way uh, distribu distribution box. So it can support fif uh, 15 digital instruments. And this is 10 megahertz distribution box. It has uh, eight way, so it can support eight way, uh, or can support eight uh, digital instruments. Uh, so the lines might, might like this. So we, you need to you need to use many coaxial lines to connect to the one PPS and uh, ten megahertz, and uh, you need to use the same length of coaxial lines for the same delay of one PPS and ten megahertz. Uh, but imagine if there are more digital instruments and if there is a, a telescope area, so we need to uh, use more uh, PBS distribution box. Uh, and all the coaxial lines should have the same length. So if, uh, if 10 years ago you had to buy a lot of coaxial lines, but now you have a better choice, uh, white rabbit. Uh, so what is white rabbit? Uh, it's mainly used to transfer one PPS and ten megahertz, and it's a new SNAP based, based uh, technology which ensures sub nanosecond synchronization and uh, deterministic data transfer. And it, it initiated at the CERN in 2008 for general machine time si timing system. So uh, white rabbit has three modes uh, in the white rabbit network. Uh, the first is grandmother, grandmaster, uh, uh, like this. It synchronized to uh, external one PBS and the 10 megahertz clock signal. This is uh, external one PBS and uh, uh, 10 megahertz signal generator. And next is master, uh, such like this WR switch. They transfer precise timing to other W compliant devices uh, like this and uh, and this WR node. Uh, the last is lab. It synchronizes its internal oscillator to other WR master device. So uh, White Rapid has several features. Uh, the first is precise timing and frequency distribution. And next is it's based on uh, gigabit per second SNET through fiber. Uh, it can serve, service many nodes and cover long distance. Uh, at last, it's an uh, open source hardware, gateway, and uh, software project. So first, uh, let's talk, talk about its precise timing and frequency distribution. Uh, it ha uh, it's, its accuracy is better than one nanoseconds, and its precision is better than uh, 50 picoseconds. Uh, this is a test uh, result. Uh, there are four uh, white rapid switches, uh, we uh, we can configure one of them as master, and uh, it transfer timing 
and frequency information to the other three slabs. So we can see the uh, the offset of this uh, the offset. This is one PBS signal. The offset of the, all the one PBS signal output uh, is uh, less than two uh, two hundred picosecond. So it's uh, so this is very pr uh, precise. So if we use white rapid, we can get precise time, and uh, we can reduce more time errors. Uh, so next, it's based on uh, one gigabit per second Ethernet through a fiber. Uh, it, we can we can use, uh, we can transfer normal and the timing and the frequency state through a one gigabit Ethernet, such like this. Uh, about these two, uh, I will talk. Uh, I will talk about. I will uh, tell you about it later. But uh, at, at least uh, you need to know this is a WR slave and uh, this is a WR master. So it can transfer the date through one fiber, uh, not only the timing and the frequency, but also the normal date. And all the data are transferred through only one fiber. So it's simple to the, uh, it's, it, it can make the cabling system simple, and uh, it uh, can cause the reduction. Uh, it can, uh, wide rapid can service many nodes and cover long distance. It can uh, service more than 1,000 nodes and uh, it can cover one uh, 10 kilometer long distance. So it can support a huge observa observation area. Uh, last, uh, at last, uh, White Rabbit uh, is open source hardware, gateway, and a software project. So it can work on different platforms based on Spartan 6 or Vertex 6 or Rx 6 or Kintax 6 and so on. And it has an open source IP core called White Rabbit PDB core, WRPC, and it has a uh, open source uh, software so that you can talk to the software to uh, make some configuration. Uh, because it's an open source uh, project, so you can build your own board with White Rabbit. So uh, next I will uh, tell you how does White Rabbit work. Uh, before we talk about this, uh, uh, we we need to uh, think about one question. Uh, if there are two white rabbit uh, nodes, they are all digital instruments based on FPGA, so they can output the, uh, uh, both of them can output the one PBS signal. So if we want to, the one PBS signal absolutely the same, so how can we make it come true? Uh, the absolutely same here means the writing edge appears uh, at the same time. Uh, so the Key point here is the clock. If we can make the two white rabbit devices have the same clock uh, with the same frequency and the same phase, so that we can generate the one PBS signal or 10 megahertz signal, uh, make them ab absolutely the same. So uh, white rabbit use three key technology to uh, make that come true. The first is layer one synchronization. And the second is precise timing time protocol. The next is precise phase measurements. Uh, the layer one uh, synchronization. Uh, this is a standard Ethernet, as we see. Uh, on each device, there is a free running oscillator, and uh, uh, they have the, the frequency of the oscillator may have tiny difference. So. Uh, if we use the oscillator to generate the one PBS, uh, the PBS may be drifting. So, uh, one rapid use uh, I use ITU dash T uh, synchronous Ethernet standard. Uh, it can make all the device has the same uh, work on the same frequency. Uh, how does it make sure uh, uh, when when we uh, insert the SFE module uh, the Master transfer the idle date to to the slab. Uh, it it doesn't contain any valid information, but the slab can recover the clock from the data stream, so that uh, they can work on the uh, so that they can it can get the same uh, frequency as, as the master. But the these two frequencies have the different phrases. Uh, that's because of the delay. 
uh, for uh, from the data pattern generated in the FPGA in the master, it transferred to the FPGA pins, there is delay. And from the FPGA pins to the SFP pins, there is also circuit delay. And from the transceiver, from the SFP transceiver pins to the fiber, there is another delay. So all the delay makes the, makes the different phrases here. Uh, so how to how to uh, measure the delay here is very important. So White Rapid use a precise time protocol. Uh, it's a standard protocol. It's an it has another name IEEE 15888. So uh, uh, it works like this. So master when master transfer the uh, date transfer the sync data to slab, uh, it it got the Timestamp of T1, and uh, it transfers the date to the slave. When the slave receives the sync date, it uh, uh, records the timestamp of T2. And then uh, the slave will reply, give a reply to the master. Uh, it it records its uh, reply time T3. And when the master got its uh, got the reply, it records the Time timestamp of T4, so uh, PTP uh, thinks the uh, the round round trip delay is like this. So it thinks the one way delay is half of the round round trip delay. Uh, so uh, PTP uh, measures the one way one way trip delay as this. But uh, if we if we calculate the one way delay like this, we can get the best accuracy is eight nanoseconds, because the uh, timestamp up the clock for the timestamp up is one hundred and twenty five megahertz. So this is the best accuracy we can get. So uh, 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 why this is, uh, but the. There are two timestamps up here are not uh, so precise. Uh, there are T4 and T2. For, uh, because T, uh, oh, sorry. Because T1 send the uh, sync date to, uh, master send the sync date to the slave, and uh, when the slave receives the date. Uh, the, the data stream is here, but there is the uh, there, there is a, a little difference between the timestamp clock and the, the data stream clock. So this, but uh, PTP can't measure this difference. So this is a T2. The T2 is not precise, and uh, it's the same as T4. So uh, to measure the Tiny difference here. Uh, White Rapid use a uh, precise. Uh, it has a precise phase measurements. Uh, it refer to the vernier capital. Cap, vernier cap, capital. Uh, I think this is the most interesting technology in White Rabbit because uh, think about how does the vernier work. It has two scales: the millimeter scale and the vernier scale. Uh, these two scales has tiny difference, but it can so that it can measure the uh, me, can make the measurement very precise. So in White Rabbit, they design a circuit like this. Uh, uh, for example, if, if this is the uh, if this is the time clock for timestamp, uh, this is the data stream uh, data stream clock. So. Uh, they they uh, use a help of PLL to get a, a offset clock. The app, the offset clock has tiny difference. The frequency of the offset clock has tiny difference between the clock A. So this is the uh, timing timing here. So because of the offset clock, uh, uh, because of the tiny difference uh, between offset clock and uh, clock A, so. The, uh, the offset clock is a trigger 
in the D trigger here. So we can measure the difference between between the phase difference between the clock A and the clock B. So this is a this is a, a delay, the precise delay of the two clock here. Uh, White Rabbit also use other technologies to uh, get the precise time. Uh, the first is a different wavelengths for different data transmission on one fiber. Uh, another is calibration for physical link asymmetry and the circuit delay. Because uh, the sending path and the receiving path and the receiving path is not almost the same, so there is a asymmetry. White rapid can measure the asymmetry here. Uh, the last is a compensation for temperature or voltage change, because the temperature and voltage change also has uh, impact on the time delay. Uh, next, I will t show you some commercial white rapid products. Uh, these two products are we used in UC Berkeley for our testing. Uh, this is one. Uh, this is 18 port white rabbit switch. It has 18 ports, and uh, uh, it can connect it to uh, automatic, uh, to atomic clock or GPS receiver, and then transfer the, then transfer the uh, timing and the frequency information to uh, this WRLEN. This is a, a WR slave. It has two ports. One is works as slave, and another is works. Uh, another is master. So there, uh, I measure the uh, one PPS delay of from the two WRLENS. Uh, I use the same SMA to BNC connector here. So it ha it should have the it should have same length. They have, and I use the ten kilometers long fiber uh, here. So this is a test result. Uh, this, uh, this is one nanosecond. So uh, <coughs> the offset is less than one nanosecond. And it's very precise. There are other seven solution uh, timing products here. Uh, if you are interested in it, you can uh, search it. Uh, you can find it here. Uh, at last, I will tell you something about uh, White Rabbit on panel CD project. Uh, first, uh, what is panel setting? Uh, it's pulsed all sky near in, uh, infrared optical setting project. So it's used to search for transient pulsed signals. Uh, the range is nanosecond to second time scales. And, and it's all observable sky. And it's optical and near infrared. The wavelength is here. Uh, it's, uh, and it's enlarged the current SETI uh, phase space. A SETI is search for extraterrestrial uh, intelligence. So this is the uh, um, main uh, parameter in the project. Uh, panel SETI search the uh, search a wide range of time scale. Uh, so this uh, this is the panel SETI instruments. Uh, uh, I plan to uh, show you a video, but this is PDF version, so I can't do it. <laughs> Sorry. So it has two. <laughs> it has two uh, important uh, parts. The first is optical lens. It's used to focus. Uh, yeah, here. It used to focus the lights uh, to a small area. So this is to. This is the area I mentioned. The it has. Uh, photon detectors. The, uh, this quadrant board is a digital, pro, uh, digital signal processing board. Uh, the detector can uh, translate, tra translate the um, light to voltage. Then the board can uh, do the signal processing. Uh, so in panel setting project, we have about 200 uh, Panel set instruments like this, like that. But uh, uh, in in each panel set instruments, uh, we have four quadrant boards and uh, one motherboard. So we need about uh, two hundred 
multiply four quadrant modes, it's about 800. So it's, uh, it's very, uh, there are very many quadrant modes here. So they, all of them may work at the same time. So we need to know the precise, pre, uh, precise time of the pulse time arrival. Uh, if we buy the uh, white rabbit uh, products from Seven Solutions, uh, we need to spend a lot of money. So we embedded the white rabbit on quadrant board. Uh, this is the to uh, top segmentic of uh, white rabbit. This is the uh, white rabbit IP core. And uh, uh, if we want to make it work, we need some other devices such as uh, two DACs and uh, two VCOs and a UID chip. The UID chip is uh, used to measure the temperature, so for the temperature compensation, and it has another function. Uh, White Rapid can get the MAC address from it because each, uh, uh, each, uh, each UID chip has a different uh, part number, uh, have a different uh, part number sto uh, stored in its EEP room. And here uh, we can use a user-defined uh, interface. So, uh, if uh, if we want to transfer other data through White Rabbit, uh, through White Rabbit, we can define we can design some modules here so that all the data can uh, trans can be transferred through the through one SFP module. Uh, so, this is a White Rabbit part in Quadrant Board. Uh, it's, uh, it's many decks and uh, VCOs and so on. So this is a wide, uh, invented white rabbit uh, IP core. So we connected, connected it, it uh, to our, uh, into our project. So uh, white rabbit also has a soft, soft core inside, inside it so we can have uh, software running in it. Uh, we can through, uh, we can uh, get some information through the software and uh, do some configuration through the software. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you.